What happens when you take two dozen coworkers from around the world and drop them in Miami, Florida for a four day experience? Sure, there's some stellar waterfront views, maybe a taco or two, but what about the work? That's what we're all here for, right? What exactly is the value in a remote first company coming together when we all see each other on Slack and Google Meet every single day? Hi everyone, my name is Kayla and I'm a communication specialist to part in some. And I recently had the opportunity to participate in my first ever Together. Together is an opportunity for all of our remote first team members to meet up in one central location. Each Together has a central theme and this year's theme was Radiant Ambitions, Let's Glow Up in 2025. Now you might be wondering, how does an organization like ours actually glow up? But first I wanna talk about the benefits of Together and how it helps people like our own clients, but also new team members like me. One of my biggest takeaways from this experience was learning about the future vision for our team shared by our founders, Jim and Julie. Um, these days are not about the things that we can't control, right? Uh, these are the things we, we can control. And I use the word we here deliberately. We are going to have collaborations and conversations, we already started yesterday, of the things that we can design our future deliberately together. I really appreciated the transparency aspect of this moment because as somebody who is newer to the team, that can be a little intimidating, right? But now I have a better sense of where we've been, where we're trying to go, and how my skill set can contribute to that goal. And speaking of goals and looking to the future, now I want to talk about some of the workshops that we held during the week and how that's ultimately going Going to help us glow up in 2025. We had discussions about some great ways to implement AI into our workflows, and we also talked a lot about our workflow process for campaigns and how we can standardize and improve upon those workflows using templates. Internally, we can templatize a lot of our work to help streamline streamline processes so we can focus on more strategic thinking um, and also to help bring AI into the process where appropriate to help speed up things and again bring the focus back to strategic thinking and not, you know, really automate that busy work. We also talked about how to level up our client communications. We did this by breaking up into groups and identified ways to make our processes and interactions more successful based on the kind of client that we're talking to. I found it really valuable that everyone in these workshops were very open and honest about our own successes in different areas and ways to improve. And not only does it help us gel as a team, but I think it also serves our clients in a unique way. Because I think if we're taking so much time and care into, you know, discussing our systems and trying to find ways to make them better, then of course we're doing the same to help our clients. A lot of this group work was also collaborative, which helped to get to know everybody and how they each individually work and think. And now I want to talk about one of my favorite exercises that we did during Together. One of the main ways we emphasized our work together and also thought more intuitively about our company culture was through a group exercise where two teams constructed paper houses. The goal was to create as many houses as possible possible with two different company philosophies. One group focused on perfection and a rigid hierarchy, while the other group focused more on autonomy and individuality and could only ask questions but not answer them. This made for some pretty silly moments. Maybe Liz could build the roofs? And you could build the walls? <laughs> and make an assembly line? Oh, quality control? We're doing the jet- no, 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 no time. No, it's not happening. But also allowed us to explore different aspects of our working culture and talk about striking the right balance between different managerial and organizational approaches. Oh my God, she used editing magic to do a little costume change. Oh my goodness. No, seriously, I changed into my little tie-dye shirt here because I thought this would be a good opportunity to wrap up by talking about one of our company values that I definitely experienced on this trip, which was Enjoy the ride. Every night we did happy hours and a dinner together, either as one big group or broken down into individual practices. But my personal favorite outing was the last night of our trip where we did a boat party. We cruised out and anchored in this really cool spot where we swam and we ate some dinner and snacks. And then as the sun was setting, we took a beautiful cruise around the city. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content from Part and Some.